favorite part about building these barns i love working outside it gets us out of the shop and everything is always something new there's never anything the same everybody has different ideas we love to incorporate all the ideas and we just like to make sure our customers are extremely happy when we're done with all their barns you like being outside today it's kind of cold no rainy. today kind of yeah it's kind of misty rainy yeah <laughs> i'd rather be in the shop today Brian Zog, BZ Welding. We're over at Mark Jordahl's in Dawson, Minnesota. We're going to give you a little walkthrough of what we've all done to this barn over here, along with the symmetry equipment that's been installed here also. So right now we're standing in the butt box. So when the cattle actually come in from the barn, they're going to come in, they're going to come into this butt box here, they're going to hit the end wall, they're going to turn around. And as they come back down this butt box, they're now going to enter into our turret tub which we've also made this into a dual system here so we're coming around of course the turret gets and it falls around then we can either go into our chute or we can also go into our load in and load out that simple we've got it set up now so the turret tub can also bring the cattle around when we're loading the cattle up, or if we're unloading the cattle, the cattle can come right back down and go right back outside into the pen. Oh. So as we turn around and come back here, we're going to come back out. So now the cattle can come out, <coughs> make our corner, and we can go out here and put our cattle right into the pens where they need to go. end of the barn back in back into the pens they go so in these barns we've got our adjustable feed rail where we can take our two and three eighths pipe on top is solid now we've got our two and three eighths on the bottom nice thing is we've got a couple bolts we can adjust this for the size of the cattle for so they can get to their feed source then we've got of course our pit barn here all our divider fences that we've installed all our custom made gates to swing to each pen off the walls the continuous on the walls and then we come over here to our water fountains, which is a nice thing with these pit barns here. You don't have to go out on the pit to work on your waters or anything, on your water lines. Everything is from overhead. We come down, we come in here, we build our water cages, keep the cattle away from hitting our pipes. And then we're here to where we got to pull out our, 
our feed bunks so we can pull our slot out to pump the manure out. This is what we'll do. We'll just swing this gate open. We're coming from the outside, we'll pick this bunk up. So we've also got another custom feed reel here mounted just to this one bunk. We'll pick it up, move it out, pick our slot up, back of manure pumps in, pump the pits out, and away we go. And we also have our runway on the outside of the pen here. So we can go all the way down to the west end of the barn and come back around and uh, return them back into the pens. This is also our sick pen for our cattle instead of being in the barn, on the mats. Yes, it's great comfort for the cattle and all that, but get them sick ones away, kind of quarantine them from the rest of the cattle. You bring them out here, put them in the sick pen out here. This is kind of the unique thing with BZ Welding and the guys that work for us. Everything that we do is all custom built. So whether this alleyway is 14 foot two, your gates are gonna be built to where they need to be. Everything on the inside, the bud box, the loading chutes, everything that we do can be custom built, custom setups, whatever you want, we'll help you design it, start to finish for your barn.